Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, and the Pittsburgh Steelers as they square off with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion as I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down on this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call it the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first couple. It was the AFL-NFL World Championship game before the Super Bowl really took hold. And think about the Green Bay Packers winning the first two that got us kicked off and started towards where we are today. And with the whole world watching, at the end of this game, at the end of tonight, one of these two sides, they get to etch their name in NFL immortality. No doubt about it. They hold up the ultimate symbol of victory in this league the Lombardi Trophy. The first Super Bowl of a new decade, Super Bowl 54, is underway. This will be taken about the 12. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Seahawks offense here set to take over with Russell Wilson leading the way. Wilson a pro bowler five times in his seven NFL seasons, including last year when he threw for a career-high 35 touchdowns to just seven interceptions. Left side complete to Lockett. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Now that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the shotgun, Wilson. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. And one of the big bodies helping out this offense is your boy, Upati. And all he wants to do is have running plays call, fire out, and smack people. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. 
He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. Fourth down and out is the all-pro punter from a year ago, Michael Dixon, the punt for Seattle. Back deep for the Steelers, Ryan Switzer. And this one hits at the one, continues on the end of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Steelers under longtime head coach Mike Tomlin. And they'll be led out by Big Ben, their veteran quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. He's one of the more exalted quarterbacks in the league, but I still don't think he gets enough appreciation for his ability to read defenses and lead his ball club. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 20. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Jared Reed muscles his way in for the sack. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The first quarter with no score. No score after one on EA Sports. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Roethlisberger. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's second and ten now from the 29. To throw here, Roethlisberger. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receiver's eyes when he's throwing the ball. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. That's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. 
Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. On fourth down, here comes a Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Now this offense ready to head back out there. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Guys, game situation. Let's go. Really good. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And lock it with a grab over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. From the gun, it's Wilson. Out to his left, and he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, and an alley to run. The rushing numbers for Wilson, maybe down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He was trying to get it to Rashad Penny. And now it's second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there. But the best quarterbacks, they'll miss up 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. So it's halftime here on Sport. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. show quite a spectacle but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53 this will be taken to the back of the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line so Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three and it's such a tone setter isn't it because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half 
What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Third quarter starts with a run from Connor. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Give the sack to Barkevius Mingo, the former number six pick. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? So the sack, and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So a stop here defensively to start this third quarter. Just what's needed in a tie ball game. Yeah, good chance to build back some momentum on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, what they've done is give their offense a nice push in the back as they get ready to take the field. Here's Jordan Berry now, standing just outside his own goal line. Returnable for Lockett. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this time. A loss of two there, second down. They completed the screen on the perimeter, but boy, that was textbook defense, exactly as you're taught to play against a wide receiver screen. And they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Wilson. He's got the tight end, Vanad. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. As big a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Wilson from the gun, he'll throw. Open man, it's Benet. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Many different ways to create some amazing on that play. He did it with that big wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
They run again with Carson. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They take him down at the 26. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. you end up with. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So on now comes the kicker. It's Jason Myers. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So it's not quite over yet, but you have to figure they pretty well got this one on ice now. And Brandon, I'm trying to figure out so calm in these situations and then go out and execute because I'm up here shaking like a leaf and I wasn't one who had to make that kick. They look calm, but I bet if you had a heart rate monitor on it, <laughs> it'd be up in the 300s right now. <laughs>